As you progress through the levels of qualification, the Student Zone will be your portal to helpful guides, study materials and more. Access the Student Zone by logging on to the SIPS website. Click on the icon at the top right of your screen. This will take you to your profile page. Here you can access your profile, view booked exams, find confirmation letters, download exam results and more. There is a My Learning and Development tab to improve your skills. You can also register for the free SIPS Ethical Procurement and Supply Test, which you are required to complete annually. You will also find the SIPS Competency Assessment tab, the Self-Assessment tool, as well as the link to your CPD. Let's discuss what is known as Continuous Professional Development. The benefits of committing to regular CPD are many for both yourself and your employer. CPD helps to ensure that you have the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed in a competitive employment market by helping you build confidence and credibility by keeping your knowledge and skills up to date, address gaps in your development plan to meet your career goals, and enable career growth through better decision making and earning potential. To access CPD from your MySubs profile, go to My Dashboard and then click on My CPD. Here you can add your CPD points by selecting Add CPD and then entering the name of any procurement related events where knowledge has been gained, such as seminars, webinars, conferences, and training. One hour of gaining knowledge from these events will equal to one CPD hour. You can also view the knowledge gained while attending these events. CPD hours should be completed annually. This is from the date of your membership registration to your renewal date. You'll also have access to the latest procurement updates. This can be found on the SIPS Knowledge Hub. The SIPS Knowledge Hub provides you with essential procurement and supply resources for your development and enhanced team performance. Here, you can view the content directory, search for topics, or find information on the most recent news in procurement. The benefit of being a SIPS member allows you full access to read or download any tools on the Knowledge Hub. Our student members can find important content on the SIPS Knowledge Hub, which has been linked to each learning outcome in your qualification. Here's how you can access these. From the SIPS homepage, under the Learn tab, you will find and select the sub-tab Student Zone. Scroll down to view all the SIPS qualification levels. Find your registered level and click on View Study Resources. This will bring you to the following page where you will find and list available resources as well as a tab named SIPS Knowledge. This is where the SIPS Knowledge Hub content linked to your qualification can be found. On this same page, you can also view the range of resources we previously spoke about. Let's walk you through this. The first tab is Sample Questions and Answers. You have an opportunity to test your knowledge in the selected module you've been preparing for. Note that no previous exam papers are published as SIPS Bank's past papers to allow students more opportunities to write their exams. The next tab is the Principal Marker Reports. This is linked to your constructive response exams. Under the Exam Guides tab on this page, you can watch videos on how to prepare for constructive response exams, how to prepare for objective response exams, guidance on constructive response exams, and guidance on objective response exams. You will also be able to view and download a candidate guide to preparing for SIPS exams, exam preparation guidance for level two certificate and level three advanced certificate, and exam preparation guidance for both constructive and objective response for level four diploma, level five advanced diploma, and level six professional diploma. For more on the syllabus, visit the Learn tab and click on the sub-tab Qualification. Scroll down to view all the SIPS qualification levels. Click on the level you'd like to find out more about. On this page, you'll find the assessment criteria for your exams, also found under the tab what format are the exams? For more information about accessing your resources and any other questions, email us at saqueries at sips.org.za.